the knockups, all of the dangerous CCs that could have resulted in his death. I mean, props to him, even though he wasn't able to come out victorious. It was very well fought out between the two mid laners, and now it is two to one in favor of uh, so, uh sorry, in favor of Team Ice. I believe they're two one. Two up. one up in favor of Ice for the time being. Yes. So it's match point for them still. We have to. Uh, sorry, I believe it's fire. Team Ice? Fire? I've been telling in my head that it's Team Fire, but I'm pretty sure it's Team Ice. Ice is the now. team that is currently in the lead 2-1. <laughs> yes, we had Oddy coming out with the first victory earlier on in the day. Uh, and then we had Evan, um, RL. Evan RL also come out from the, with the victory. So we, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Ice that are currently 2-1 in the lead. And then we had Saros just claim a point back for Fire. So um, Dara is, uh, is now going to be potentially put under some pressure. Who have we got left? We've got Dara and we've got... We've got Dara and Tussle coming out from Dara Japan. Dara and Tussle. Then we have Porky and Nezul. Porky and Nezul. So a lot of... Ooh, that could be quite interesting because Dara and Tussle, well known for their synergy. Um, but we'll have to see who they're going to bring up next. And it looks like... It is going to be Dara. Japan support will be taking on the top laner from Latin America North. Porky will be taking to the rift. So support versus top laner. Now, you have some experience playing against some supports, I've heard, Fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, in our 1v1 matchup, you know, yesterday during the play test, had to play against the support. It was very nerve-wracking, but I can thankful so. I got the win. You know? Yeah, you were. I felt like your aggression was what enabled you to come <laughs> out on top of that uh, of that. Uh, um, and I, that one versus one. I don't know, Vedius. People were telling me it's my cheese. People, other people are telling me it's mistakes made by the other player. But I don't know. I just feel like I'm good at this game. Yeah, sometimes. for me, I feel like you're just good at the game. And obviously, <laughs> for respect, we won't name the support player. Uh, you know, we don't want to. We don't want to upset him. But I mean, you should definitely be proud of that victory. I felt like that if it, if you didn't get that victory, it would have really hurt your chances, and we wouldn't have gone to that. Very tense best of five between EU and OCE. Oh, yeah, so. we went, went to a game five. Pyrotechnics taking on Hingers. Oh, my word. That was dramatic, to was say a, the least. It was a great great finale, but we still have another match coming up here that's going to be fantastic to watch. Dara taking on Porky. We already mentioned it's a support up against a top lane matchup. So no more mirror match between the two teams. And it's kind of interesting to see because Dara, you know, used to going to those two-on-two -two lanes. Porky, very used to the isolation in the top lane. We'll have to see if that... Ex that experience of playing in the top lane is going to help him out here. Well, we thought that uh, Evie earlier on would be the one using his top lane experience to come out ahead, but that did not work out for him. Now let's see if Dara uh, can upset the top laner as well. For the time being, it looks like fairly standard bats. So Caitlyn and Syndra being taken away again. Those two champions probably not going to see any 1v1 showtime here as Pantheon is taken away by Team Fire and Quinn is going to be the second ban from Team Ice. So. Uh, is this still available? Cassiopeia. We've got a bit of Draven and Velkos. Probably Draven and Velkos not quite as high on the priority list um, for the time being. Uh, LeBlanc and Rise also still available. You cannot ban them both. Draven is going to be taken away by Porky here as Nasus is the final ban from Team Fire as an immediate Whoa. lock of Trundle what? is going to come out from Porky. What? All right then, so Porky just stick into his top lane comfort picks. He feels confident on it. I mean, personally, I can't say that it's like a super strong in the one versus one necessarily because he's going to struggle against a lot of range champions. I mean, speaking of range champions. Whew, an immediate lock-in of Varus coming out from Dara here. He's going to try and use the man with the bow and arrow to take down the troll. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw the early cloth armor coming out from the trundle this time. Definitely at the level six mark with the pillar against the Varus with no flash. He has a lot of kill threat, but does he have a lot of burst? I mean, that's the question because you have the exhaust as well as the ultimate on top of Dara to disengage from those fights. And you can just play around the farm game again. You can get the poke. You can just take advantage of the fact that you have uh, a larger range. And I mean, it, it, I think it's going to be difficult for Porky, to be honest. Like, I, I mean, I can understand why you'd go for it because definitely in terms of 1v1 uh, top laners, Trundle is up there in terms of skirmishing and dueling, and in a lot of instances he comes out ahead. But against the virus, I mean, uh, one of Trundle's hardest matchups is Nah, and I would say that in terms of poke <laughs> and wave clear, I would give virus a little bit more than that. Pretty much, and you know, maybe his experience up in the top lane might come back to bite him this time as he picks up a comfort pick of Trundle heading into this match against a virus. Varus is going to be taking Exhaust and Ignite into the Snowdown Showdown on the Howling Abyss as Trundle will be picking up his Exhaust as well as the Barrier, the same summoner spells we saw Saros pick up on his Velkos. 
I'm not a fan of the barrier on uh, the Trundle. I feel like because you have to go for some kind of an all-in onto a ranged champion, the Ignite perhaps would have been better. But we'll have to see how that one works out later on into the game. Uh, I suppose it does help if there's the potential uh, poke. You, you have the Varus Q. If you're really low health, you have the, the barrier there available so you don't get sniped out. But what really surprises me is the fact that he's actually decided to go for the Doran Shield rather than the Cloth Armor and the Health Parts. It looks like that... Uh, uh, I mean, it blocks eight damage from a single target attack. Like, I feel like the cloth armor, just the, the raw armor stats that you get from it, mm -hmm. on top of the sustain that you get from uh, the four health pots, on top of the natural sustain that Trundle gets, uh, I feel like it would have been a slightly better choice. Yeah, it seems like Pocky really trying to rely on Trundle's natural sustain as well as that Doran shield. But you can already see how much damage Dara is How's putting that working, down Pocky? <laughs> on towards Pocky. He only has one health potion to keep himself nice and top tough. Dara does take a little bit of damage from minions, but he'll slowly heal that one up by auto-attacking them as well. I mean, early levels, Porky has no kill pressure. He needs at least level three because he needs the W for the movement speed bonus, and he needs the pillar to cut off any escape routes from the virus. Um, so he's just doing what he can to farm under turret. But again, the turret does different damage. I know that that completely threw me off yesterday when I was under turret, and I was like, wait, why can't I last hit anything properly? And that's just because the amount of damage that the turret does is slightly different. So. It depends how much experience Porky has, and I would say that he doesn't have much experience playing on uh, on this game mode. You can already see Dara farming up a storm here as Porky keeps getting denied minion after minion underneath his own turret. Finally picked up his second bit of CS. Still yet to pop his own potion as he keeps getting harassed by Dara even underneath his own turret. Finally putting down the frozen domain, trying to push this wave back, but every time he goes close, he'll take a lot of damage. Ignite even being used by Dara there. They're going for the health relic. Dara denies that from Porky, and he's left between a rock and a hard place here as he just can't quite farm. Uh, he certainly is. Forced underneath his turret, Dara already starting to build up a massive CS advantage. And this is where we have to question Porky's preparedness for the one versus one tournament in all honesty. Now there's still plenty of time. He's now level three. He has a lot more kill pressure. The Ignite is down for Dara. But perhaps he wants to go back and pick up an item for himself before he decides to go for that all-in commitment. So both champions have used their health potions. Porky gonna take a little bit more damage here from Dara being harassed constantly underneath his own turret. Dara will hit level four first and continue raining down the pain of arrows on towards Porky underneath this turret. He's having such a difficult time here. He should have to go back to base. Porky will level up and get a little bit of health back, but that was looking very risky from the troll. I mean, it still is looking risky. He really doesn't have very much health, and you have to remember those blight stacks, they stack up, there's the exhaust. Going down, looking for that little bit of extra damage. Porky lives with a sliver of health underneath his own turret. Dara not pulling back the Q to try and find that snipe, and Porky should be able to head back to base. If I was Porky, I would have used my, uh, my barrier right there, because, I mean, that was well calculated. Was it calculated? Did he take a gamble? We'll never know. But let's just assume that it was a calculation, and Porky was just barely able to get away with that. And he's only going to come back with a corrupt push. He's got more sustain because he's been denied so much farm, and now the item differential, I just feel like Porky's missed his window. Might have here, as two Doran's blades have been picked up by Dara, as well as the longsword and a couple of extra health potions. But one thing that Porky does go have going for himself is he has both summoner spells up. Dara does not have either exhaust or ignite available at the moment. So let's see if Porky goes for the commitment. This is a mistake I made yesterday in my one versus one against Rusty, where he had no summoner spells and I didn't take advantage of the window. And a large part of that was because the minion wave was pushing against me. It does make it very difficult to go for the hard commit, but he's going for it now. Porky looking to try and get some damage down on towards Dara, but he's taking a lot of pain in return here. Pops his first uh, first portion of the corrupting potion, trying to keep himself nice and topped off. Dara taking some damage from these ranged minions. Uh, Porky has had a unique playstyle so far in this 1v1 match. And, oh, this is. Just, this is really bad for Porky right now because Dara's freezing the wave. He's just making it so much harder for Porky to get close, but he's going to try again. He's trying to go in for the damage here. Porky has to be a little bit careful. He can't get Whoa. too close towards the turret. Porky, he's running away. Dara might be able to try and snipe him off if he is able to pull back the Q, but he's not going to be able to do so while he has the blights and stacks on towards the trundle. Okay, so now the important point comes into the level six mark, right? So. Porky is about halfway to level six. Dara is about three quarters. So Dara's gonna get the level six first. And if he lands that ultimate, 
then Porky's going to be in a heap of trouble, but he's just going to try. No, I feel like this is your best moment, Porky. You have to go for the commitment. There's Next a six. level six. Porky's been locked down. Dara is going to go aggressive here. Barrier's been used by Porky. Dara won't have enough damage. He goes for Ooh. the shot, takes an arrow to the knee, but it's just not quite enough as Porky lives with a sliver of health. Porky, you are so lucky this game. You are, you are playing on a knife's edge right now. Dara, though, his exhaust is going to be coming back up relatively soon. He has the ignite. Porky, please, my friend, you have to go for the commitment. You've got yourselves the Doran's Blade now. Your window is closing fast. You're not going to win on farm. With the exhaust coming up soon, you might not even be able to win an all-in. His turret is even down to half its health here, Fedius, before we even hit four, uh, 50 minions for the side of Dara. He's gone back to base. He's picked up a cloth. Uh, cloth armor for himself as well as the boots and a couple more potions to head back into his lane. Things are not looking great for Porky at the moment. Not right now, but he is going to deny the health relic away from Dara. He's going to push the minion wave underneath Dara's turret to try and reset it. It's actually better if you can just clear the wave, get it pushed underneath and then have it bounce back towards you. Then you can try and go for the all-in. But Dara's just using the range to his advantage and preventing Porky from being able to regain wave control. Like, this is just really smart play from Dara. Good wave management to deny Porky as much as he can. Porky now still trying to farm as much as possible, trying to catch up. It's going to be really difficult because Dara has hit the 50 minion mark. He is halfway there to victory by minions. And Porky is just taking auto attack after auto attack every single time he gets in within range of Dara. Varus does have a nice and long range to help him out with harassing this trundle. Now, Porky. Look at how close Dara is to you. He's just a juicy target for you to bunch down on. He's right there for the taking. You could just go for it. I mean, this is... A, this is. I'm talking you through my thought process now. Like, I can kill him, I can kill him, I can kill him, I can kill him. Right? <laughs> and he's going to try and do it now. He's going to try and do just that. Dara does have the ultimate available. Porky is still trying to chase him down. Dara's just running away from the troll. Now turning around, trying to put the pain back down on towards the trundle. Porky oh, this is just all, oh. can't quite get back in range of the Varus. And Dara does a little <laughs> dance as well to top things off. Oh, the kite is real. Trundle without your W. It is so difficult for you to close that gap. But as long as he keeps it down, he still has a bit of pressure. Look at the sustain coming out, though. It's really starting to help him all. He has the Corrupting Potion on top of that. But Dara, he can now just play the farm game. Porky, the potential for the all-in is just so small because of how easy it is to kite him out. Both summoner spells are now back up for Dara. He's missed that window. And Team Fire. That's going in. Porky looking for a bit of damage. Puts down the subjugate. He's been ignited and locked down by the ultimate of Faris. Dara probably won't be able to chase down the troll as he'll use this time to go back. No. Porky, this is risky. Dara. Oh, he was in range for the Q. Ooh. I feel like he could have gone for an opportunity there, but one of the problems is that Dara's actually decided to max the E. That's why he's not relying very much on the poke. More utilizing the blight stacks on top of. The, the hail of arrows to really get the harassment down. And for the time being, it's working. A lot of it is because it mitigates a lot of the sustain that Trundle has, not only from his ultimate, but from his natural passive. And you and it's thanks to that Grievous Wounds that you get when you stand in those hail of, arrow, hail of arrows pit. So already 75 minions to 45 minions. Dara has a 30 minion advantage over this Trundle. And this tower is already below half its health. Dara might just be able he to win by a turret kill. Yeah, I mean, like, that turret is taking a lot of damage. Porky, he doesn't have his ultimate available. He doesn't have the exhaust. I think that Dara's going to win by turret kill here. Porky Maybe has well. no health, has his barrier back up but it's going to be incredibly difficult for him to hold on here. Dara might be able to tie the game up 2-2 for Team Fire. He's getting some decent damage on towards Porky. Puts down the exhaust. The barrier's been used as well. Dara is chasing towards the troll. Puts it down. The hail of arrows will be enough. And he takes down the troll to tie it up 2-2. I feel like this was just inevitable. Porky had a number of opportunities where he could have gone for the all-in. Decided not to commit. Didn't have the damage because of...